Hello everybody, this is Badger Wild and we are back with another Space Engineers build review video. And today I've got a really good one. I've got a really, really good build that when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is just the whole Explorer vibe. It's it's just the whole I'm, I'm space trucking vibe or space hitchhiking uh, vibe going on here. Before we get into the video though, I would like to remind everyone to, if you like the video, if you love this content, be sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment telling me what you like and what you didn't like. And as always, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. We enjoy having you around and I read all the comments I get. So, without further ado, uh, let's get started. The SSI Wander Civilian Shuttle. Now, when we're saying shuttle, we're using that term loosely. This is made by Shiro. And when I say this is a, sh a loosely used term for shuttle, this thing has a onboard jump drive. So for a shuttle, it is not, it is basically a long range vessel. It is, and when you look at this thing, you realize this is pretty much a ship that you can go from your original space pod and then you can upgrade to this and this would be a decent upgrade. I'm gonna give this a like here. It does use Warfare 2 DLC, requires decorative blocks, Heavy Industry, Decorative Blocks, Warfare 1, and Automations DLC. It, and uh, Shiro has made a very cool little ship. It has a jump drive. He doesn't recommend recharging it with just the onboard batteries and hydrogen, as he says here. But he's got about 9 megawatts worth of power in the three batteries that he has, which should be more than enough to charge for two jumps. Uh, it should be enough for several jumps, <clears throat> but it, it, it'd be good enough to get from one station to the next. <laughs> we'll put it like that. Just This is just one of those little ships that I, I'm really enjoying. And so let's just take a look at it right now. This is what you're getting. As I said, it's, it's not the biggest thing out there, but the thing that makes it just interesting is a lot of the design choices in this ship. Uh, we've got a lot of things that are exposed. If you take a close look at it, I guess the best thing to do right now would be just hop in there and just take a look at it. So checking this thing out, we have a bit of a boxy design. This isn't meant to be, and and I, I, I like the vibe of it because it's not meant to be a battleship. This isn't your next Corvette. Uh, this is pretty much Lone Star and Spaceballs kind of vibe going on, and I love every minute of it. You don't see a lot of ships built like this because usually a lot of people want to build the big military ships. And this is something that I think is kind of missing a lot of times from space engineers, just that civilian aspect uh, that can be brought in. Would really love it if Keen took a few of these ideas, especially something like this, and just put it up into the game, as in like the next update, and make a make this like a civilian vessel that you could buy or something like that. Because the player community really makes some awesome stuff. Anyway, this thing has three, count them, three flat plate landing gears, which just kind of mesh in with the ship and just at a distance you wouldn't even know they were there. Four hydrogen thrusters pushing down. We have an exposed uh, jump drive with an exposed hydrogen engine hooked up to an exposed hydrogen tank because, yes, this is meant to be a civilian vessel. It, it doesn't have to have everything covered up. You can do this in Space Engineers. And it, it really pulls, pulls out some really interesting looks because some of the blocks you have have really nice rounded features that you can't replicate on the extreme small scale. We have one connector on top, one connector on bottom. We have a single uh, was gyroscope running this entire thing. A couple flat plates here in the back. This is something that I don't see enough of and I wish I saw more of it. Is when people take these flat plates and make a fin or something out of the back of it or like a stabilizing fin for the back end. It looks good and I wish more people would do it because I'd like to take some inspiration from y'all. <laughs> some people are way better builders than I am. Another thing that I like here is the design of using this corridor block as a kind of a shroud for this engine here. This particular block, I've done this before, but I do it with a different block. And I never really thought about using this one, but it, it actually does work and it makes it look good. It makes it look like a, a little bit more of a put together ship. We have the bridge up here, which is just a flat blocky design with a few angles here and there just to break it up. And it looks, it looks wonderful. And from the looks of it, you can see inside. I'm just gonna love getting inside this thing. Only one way in here, and that's from this catwalk and here we come to my first gripe 
actually my first and only gripe about this ship is a single push of the button and the entire vessel is <laughs> vented. Uh, not something that I like. I don't, I don't particularly like that, but I can deal with it. Now, starting from the back here, we have a single cargo container, which gives you access to just about everything in the ship, uh, except the armory lockers up top. We'll get to those in a minute. We have access to just about everything in here. We also have a cryo tube for a passenger. We have our survival kit here, just in case something happens. Like I said, this is a, a vanilla survival-ready ship. So if you in the comments are playing on PlayStation and you want to use this in your playthrough, this is a recommend for that. It is a low PCU unit. It will not hurt your gameplay at all. Uh, we've got a backup hydrogen tank up here. We've got what I believe is an H2O2 generator. And we've got two of our three batteries, and our third one over here with our gravity generator. Kind of a space over here not being used. It's just more decorative, which is yeah, still good. And I like it. Got our bathroom shower combo going on right now. And then we get to the upper deck where the bridge is. So we've got our current bridge. We've got plenty of room we can look out of and see what's all going on around us and even have the ability to land. We also have behind us an air vent, which is supplying the entire ship, a bed, and an armory for weaponry and storage. We also have this nice look here with the open glass ceiling on this ship and has the new, um, I believe these are from the Warfare 2 update. They're uh, a combat window from the Warfare 2 update. Uh, basically, the this is just interesting the way these are put together to make and you can see these are also being used on the outside on these two sides they're just wonderful but like i said just a very interesting design here because and it's just it's not that it's not a, a real capable ship either i mean this thing is let's throw some numbers up here and look it's a pretty fast ship i mean if if you're coming under attack and you see pirates coming this is something you could just power up and just run with it hit it at full power and just get out of here so the ship doesn't have a whole lot uh, weapon-wise. There's not a whole lot of weaponry on it. If you wanted to arm it, I suppose you could put one turret right up there on top of the hydrogen tank, though you would be asking for trouble. <laughs> because that uh, uh, tur turrets um, in the game automatically become a target <laughs> just about what, if they're shooting at something. Personally, if it were me, I would put... Uh, if I were to put a turret on here... I, and since this is a civilian vessel, I'd probably put some turrets right here on this block, two on each side. That would be enough to really give you some firepower. Just the, not the, not the big ones, but just the two small, just the little small ones, little interior turrets, would be enough to defend you fairly effectively against any small vessels, any small harassers or anything like that, if you want the weaponry to do that with. It is not necessary with this vessel. Uh, you can easily just outrun them as you've seen the speed of this thing as it takes off. But it is a really... It, it is just that. It is a very cool little ship that, uh, like I said, one of the reasons that attracted me to this ship was there's a lot of y'all getting on PlayStation now. And there are... Uh, most of the ships that are built on Mod.io and Steam are really big monstrosities and this is a ship that is not a massive monstrosity it is just a ship that works and it does a job and it does it very well uh it, it is very simple and if you want something not not over the top not overly massive but something that a new player could manage as their first ship i wholeheartedly recommend this link to it will be in the description also if you guys want to help out the channel be sure to most importantly, and it always works, this always helps the channel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, we have a subscribe star, link in the description. $1 a month helps out the channel. Uh, also, don't forget to check out the Rumble. And as always, this is Badger Wild saying stay safe, stay frosty, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.